There's not much better than a good margarita on a cold day, on a hot day, on any day that ends with Y, right? You want to know how to make a classic margarita? Maybe a couple of variations? Stick around. I'm going to show you how. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Speakeasy. Today is National Margarita Day, so of course we're going to make margaritas. There's not much I like more than a good margarita. And my dad, God rest his soul, could make the perfect margarita. I don't know that he ever gave me his recipe. If he did, I lost it somewhere in all my moves in the military. Now the history of the margarita is up for debate. There's all kinds of stories out there about where it might have originated and everything. One thing's for sure, margarita is the Spanish word for daisy. So it started with daisy somewhere, and now I'm going to show you how. Obviously, there are a couple of different ways. You can have it on the rocks. You can have it frozen, or you could have it shaken and then just poured into a glass with no ice, uh, just chilled straight up, if you will. I prefer mine on the rocks. Um, if you have too much ice in it in the blender, you can get a weakened drink. So I don't like them that way. I like to make the mix, pour it right on the rocks and have it that way. So let's make some margaritas. Now there are a couple different ways. You know, this is your classic margarita glass. Um, these are pretty. These are uh, fun for, you know, parties or if you want to sit by the pool, wouldn't do glass ones. They do make plastic ones. Um, restaurants love these things, especially if you're going to do a frozen margarita or straight up. I would do it like this because this is something uh, that is kind of cool looking and it fits the the motif. Looks kind of more like a tulip in my opinion, but anyhow, that's what that's worth. I just use regular rocks glass for mine. I, I love them in a rocks glass. They're easy to salt the rim. Um, we got another one here. So almost the same size. Make a couple of different margaritas for you today and show you how, how, that, how I do it. All right, now one thing that you always want to do, number one, if you're making this for somebody, make sure, ask them if they want salt. If they don't want a salted rim, it kind of ruins it if you give it to them with a salted rim. And of course, there's people with high blood pressure that can't have salt. Now, I prefer mine with salt. So what's the best way to get salt on the rim? Well, I've found that the easiest way to do it is to, I don't have a saucer here, so I've got some margarita salt in my bowl. And as you slice the lime, um, the easiest thing to do is just take that lime or maybe take a piece of the lime and just run it around the edge like this. That way it doesn't get too far down. Stick it in there, move it around like that. So you get salt on the inside and the outside, and there you go, you got some good salt on the rim. And that way when you add your ice, you're not looking at it going, well, I got to dump my ice out because I forgot to salt the rim of the glass. All right, so now let's get this one done. Now there are, you could also, you know, have another saucer or, or run, your, run your glass under a faucet and get a little bit of water on it. I prefer the lime just because it adds a little bit of flavor whenever you get a drink, the salt, the lime, all at one time. There we have good salted rim. So let's go ahead and get some ice in here. You don't want too much ice. Just going to water down the, the drink a little bit. I prefer to mix it right in the glass personally. You can put ice in a shaker if you want to. Shake it up, get it real cold before you put it in here. That's on you whichever, you way, whichever way you prefer to do it. Whatever is easiest for you. I prefer to just mix this up right in the glass with the rocks in the glass. Grab a stir stick when you're done. Stir it up and drink it that way. Now there are also a couple of different preferred ways preferred tequilas. So you can have a little bit of Jose Cuervo Blanco. Some people like to step it up a notch with Jose Cuervo Gold. 
that's a good tequila. This one's going to cost you more at a restaurant than this one. Then they start getting into top shelf tequilas. Now, I'll tell you what. This one right here makes the best margarita I've ever had in my life. This is Castillo. This is a rum infused with blue agave tequila, natural flavors of lemon and lime. It, this makes the smoothest tequila I've ever had. Um, they don't make it anymore. This is my very last bottle. It is not open. So I'm going to crack it open today and make a margarita on National Margarita Day. Now there's one more. This one is recent that I bought. Devil's River Agave Bourbon. I made a margarita with this not too long ago just to try it because this is a very sweet bourbon. Um, and it's made with blue agave tequila. Made a pretty darn good margarita, believe it or not. Um, it was better than some, better than a lot of them I've had, actually. Um, but it does make it, you know, it's got a different taste because this is a uh, tequila and bourbon together. So today we're going to do it kind of the old-fashioned way. I'm going to make two of them. And just because that's colored, I'm going to stick with Cuervo Gold today and Castillo Fusion. Now, the other parts is an orange liqueur. So then you have triple sec, Cointro, and you can even go with Grand Marnier if you want to. Now, triple sec is just an orange liqueur. Cointro is another type of orange liqueur. I don't know that it's uh, just um, maybe a different brand. Uh, but Grand Marnier is orange liqueur and cognac. So that puts an even different flavor into it. I'm not going to go with this today. Um, my dad always had triple sec around. He might have preferred Cointreau on occasion. I don't know. So we're going to do one of each. Since we're making two margaritas, right? And then, of course, you have your fresh lime. So you're going to have... According to the International Bartenders Association, they said 50 milliliters of tequila, 20 milliliters of triple sec, and 15 milliliters of lime juice. Now, you start doing the math on that, that doesn't equate over to ounces very well. So basically, it's two ounces of tequila, one ounce of triple sec, and a half ounce, three quarters of an ounce of lime. But then again, it all boils down to your taste. You start to figure out how you like it. All right, so let's get these glasses here and mix them up. So we're going to go with Jose Cuervo on the first one. Let me move this other glass out of the way here. So we're going to mix these according to the International Bar Association. Two ounces of tequila. In this case, Cuervo Gold. I'm going to go ahead and do this one so I can just knock this right off the top here. It even just smells good. So two ounces of tequila in each of those. And then we're going to have one ounce of triple sec. Oops, wrong side. And then a half ounce of lime juice. Now I'm just going to use lime juice out of a bottle like this because it's so much easier to measure. And I like using my fresh limes as a garnish. So there's a half ounce and a half ounce. A couple of stir sticks. And according to the IBA, that is your margarita. Now, if you want to just l compare the color of these, this one even to me looks better. I love a, a drink with a little bit of color to it. So let's try it, see which one's better. Standard old Cuervo Gold Margarita.
That's a pretty good margarita. And now the one with Castillo rum infused tequila or tequila infused rum. Oh, that's so much smoother to me. I don't know why. I've tried to find a substitute for the Castillo Fusion. I don't think it exists, but if anybody out there has some, if you know where I can get some, put that in the comments below and let me know. Because that just makes a very, very good margarita. So, happy National Margarita Day to everybody. Hope you enjoy your margaritas. If you got any comments, questions, ideas, cocktails you want me to make, put those down below. I'd be happy to read them, and I will read every one. Be sure to like, subscribe, give me the thumbs up, share the channel with your friends, and come back tomorrow for another fine drink here at the Speakeasy. Until then, this is Scalper. Out.